One of the more anticipated movies of the year hits theaters this week, and it was filmed right here in Metro Atlanta. Respect stars Oscar winner Jennifer Hudson as the legendary Aretha Franklin and traces the Queen of Souls rise to stardom. Hey, and Paul, you got a chance to sit down with Jennifer Hudson to talk about really for her what was the role of a lifetime. Yes, indeed. I've got seven letters for both of you. <laughs> R-E-S-P-E-C-T. And you're both going to find out what it means oh, to are me. We? Oh, Maybe I someday. Like it. Maybe, yeah. yeah. This was a big deal because Jennifer Hudson was handpicked for the role by Aretha Franklin herself before the queen passed away back in 2018. And the Oscar winner says this was more than a passion project. It was a chance to honor the legacy of an artist who's really been part of her life forever. Looking out on the morning rain. So when is the first time in your life that you remember being aware of Aretha Franklin, of this person and her music? I don't remember not being, because she's kind of always been there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? She's embedded in everybody's lives, yeah. it seems. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and then, also what I mean by that, like even growing up in church, like, and then doing the film and doing research for it and hearing the gospel albums of hers, and I'm like, wait a minute. So our version of Amazing Grace came from Aretha Franklin. While I was growing up singing in the church, I didn't realize that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And now the world will realize it too, as the Queen of Souls life story hits the big screen in respect. What you Oscar winner Jennifer Hudson was handpicked by Aretha Franklin to star in the movie and says tackling that musical legacy meant doing it as authentically as possible. I have read, is this true that you did a lot of the singing live? All of it, yes. All of it? Yes. It's only songs that were not live. So, okay, this is the concept. What my goal was, well, however she experienced it in her life is how I wanted to experience it while we're doing it. So Amazing Grace was live. All the concert stuff. Okay, she did it. We're going to do it live. Only songs that were pre recorded, if it was a radio record, we'll record it like a radio record. Mm. So, were there any songs or musical moments that you were sort of intimidated by? All of them. <laughs> Think about it. Everything, all of her music is iconic. You don't want to touch that. Yeah. You know, or how do you? And it's so precious to everyone, including myself. Mm -hmm. So it's like, how are you supposed to approach that? You know, yeah. so that's in the back of my mind. Yeah. Just FYI, you did it. Thank you. You did it. <gasps> Have you lost your mind? Maybe I found it. But more than just the music, Hudson says the movie shines a light on the journey and the experiences behind the music, honoring a pioneer who touched everyone's lives, even when they least expected it. Do you have a favorite memory of Aretha Franklin, the time that you personally got to be around her? Oh my God, it's so many. I have to go with, I was, I, I don't know how many times I got to tribute Miss Franklin, but it was one time I was doing a BET tribute to her mm -hmm. and it was supposed to be a surprise, right? We're in rehearsal. Everybody's rehearsing and in walks Aretha Franklin and it crashes the entire rehearsal and we're like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Aretha spoiled that surprise. And a big thanks to United Artists releasing for production assistance with that interview. Jennifer Hudson is joined by a powerhouse cast in this movie, including Forrest Whitaker, Marlon Wayans, Audra McDonald, Mary J. Blige. The list goes on and on. Respect hits theaters this Friday. And Sharon and I were just talking. This is Oscar number two for Jennifer Hudson. No question.